to lowcarbrecipeideas.com. Today we're going to make a cauliflower bake. It's like a casserole I'm going to make with cauliflower. I apologize for the noise. I'm making bread and I'm trying to get this uh, video in because I got to go babysit the grandkids overnight tonight. So excuse the noises and I'll try and get this done. We're going to try and make this as simple as possible. I have a pound of ground beef in the skillet and I am going to put a medium sized chopped onion into the pan. We're going to add in a teaspoon of herbamere if you have it. If not, use salt and pepper. And my herbamere is this great spice that I love with so many things. It's really, really good. Then we're going to put one large clove of minced garlic. A dash of pepper and then we're going to put in a teaspoon of dried oregano so we're gonna mix this up and cook it till our ground beef is all cooked so my ground beef is all cooked I'm just gonna use the same skillet and I want to take two tablespoons of tomato paste and just throw it into the skillet and then we're going to take my um, diced tomatoes it's organic diced tomatoes it's 960 or sorry 796 mils so I'm just going to put half of the, the can in there we go. We'll get this all mixed together with the tomato paste. Shoot, I just splashed myself. I knew I should have used an apron. Okay, so we've got that mixed. Now I'm just going to mix everything together. The next step, what we're going to do is we're going to get cauliflower. I've sliced my cauliflower up, but I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of what I did. There we go. So you can see I've just kind of sliced the florets. And I'm just going to show you briefly what I've done. And I've, all I'm doing is cutting it with a knife to get some slices. So, I've used one smaller head of cauliflower. So we're going to set that aside and get ready to put everything together. So I've got my ovenware dish and I'm going to take my slices of cauliflower and I'm just going to lay them on the bottom all the way across the bottom of the, the dish. Okay, nice thin, look like little trees, don't they? Cauliflower is such a healthy vegetable, very, very healthy. Okay, just a little wee bit more, fill in all the little holes. There we go. Now I'm going to take I have tomatoes left, crushed tomatoes left in my, my can, so I'm just going to spread the tomatoes, the tomatoes on top of the cauliflower. I love, it's a Kirkland brand, I buy a lot of stuff at Costco, but I just truly love a lot of their products. These tomatoes are very nice. Now I do have an issue because I told you I was reading Dr. Gundry's book and tomatoes are full of lectins and it's like, oh my gosh, how do you make decisions on what you're going to eat? It's just so difficult. So now I have mozzarella cheese and I have a total of two cups, but I'm just going to um, spread it around. I have measured out two cups and I'm just going to spread it around so that we will use the two cups in the, um, the dish. Okay, now I'm going to get my skillet. 
and I'm going to add some of my ground beef with tomatoes in it on top. It's quick and easy. You should enjoy this recipe. I'm apologizing that I didn't get last week's done. There's a bit of issues going on with one of my children and I just have to be there for them so I'm doing the best I can so just be patient with me. Okay now we're going to take and add on more of our cauliflower slices on top here. I'm just going to kind of throw it on here, flatten them out. It's almost like they're a noodle by the time they cook, which is kind of nice. And there we go. Now, we're going to add some of our ricotta cheese. And I have a total of a cup and a half, so I'm just going to plop it on. I'm not even going to spread it. I'm just plopping here and there. That's a cup. Move it around a little bit. Okay. And then, sorry, we're gonna take the other half and put it on the top when I'm when I'm ready for it. Okay, now we're gonna add more of our hamburger mixture. And then this is going to go in the oven once I've got it all put together. Now that skillet, skillet that I use, it's, it's um, wool brand, it's Germany. It's a beautiful, beautiful skillet, but man, it's heavy. And I know the older I get, the harder it's going to be for me to handle it, which really sucks because I really like it. But I guess I shouldn't worry about it yet because I'm not to that age yet, but getting close, I can feel it when I pick it up. Okay, so now I'm going to take the rest of my tomatoes, which isn't very much, throw it on top. And I'm going to put in the rest of my ricotta cheese. Just plop it everywhere. A bit of cheese in this recipe, but it's quite delish. There we go. Now I've got a little more of our mozzarella cheese. I'm going to put on top. And I have half a cup of Parmesan cheese, freshly grated, that I'm going to put on top here. And that's it. Something quick and easy, and whatever I have left over will go to my grandkids tonight when I go to stay with them. We're going to preheat the oven at 375, and we'll bake it for approximately 35 to 40 minutes. Now I've taken it out of the oven after 40 minutes, 40-45 minutes, and I've just let it cool down a little bit because it's quite bubbly and liquidy, and it, it'll all absorb into the casserole. So now we're going to give it a try. So here is my low-carb cauliflower casserole bake, whatever you want to call it. It's very tasty. Um, I could have probably kept it in the oven a little bit longer because the cauliflower has a little bit of a crunch to it, but it's still really delicious. Nice change. Really, really good. I think you should give this one a try. Mm-hmm. There's a bit of liquid in the bottom. Tomorrow, I'm sure it'll all absorb, but I let it sit for probably 10, 15 minutes before I gave this a try. But it needs to sit a little bit longer, and tomorrow I'm sure it'll absorb even more. Great flavor, quick recipe. Go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com, try this one, and try some of my others. You take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.